Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a wardrobe and entrance hall tour. So it's been a while since I did my last wardrobe tour and I think since then there's been some new people coming to my channel. So I get lots of questions almost daily about like organization tips and what my wardrobe looks like, what type of wardrobe it is. How do I organize my stuff, especially because I have a capsule wardrobe? So that's what we're having a look at today. So this is our bedroom. And um, as you can see over here, that's where we have our wardrobe. Um, we have been living here uh, in this house for four years now. And um, we have been re doing or renovating basically the entire house. Um, I don't know if you've been following me for that long. I'm gonna leave a little renovation video up here for the bedroom just so you can see what it used to look like. So this is the wardrobe and it's from a brand called Organized if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's available anymore. It's from a Danish, uh, like a local Danish store, like a building kind of store called Davidson. Um, I'm gonna link the website down below just in case there are any Danish people watching. I don't know if this is the brand that they still carry in that shop. It was at the time. It's a nice wardrobe, it's huge. And the thing that really draws to this specific wardrobe was that we were able to like custom make it completely so that it would fit all the way from floor to ceiling. It was a bit of an expensive one too, just because of the whole customization bit. And I know that Ikea makes something quite similar. So to be fair, we could have probably bought one of those like packs Closets, but I do quite like the fact that it's all the way from floor to ceiling. I think it gives a really nice clean look So this side of the wardrobe is my husband's and then this side of the wardrobe is mine. So let's have a look at that Now if you've watched any of my styling related videos or capsule wardrobe related videos You will have seen this wardrobe many many times Nothing much has changed here and because it's a wardrobe that we've pretty much designed ourselves we could we had like full control over how we wanted the inside to look as well so um, I wanted some drawers to keep stuff in I wanted this like pull out uh, shelf down there for shoes this um, compartment over here I wanted that to be like extra long if you will so that I would have room to hang dresses and skirts and longer coats like here I mean I love opening the door to my wardrobe it makes me so happy um and yeah really really nice so let's start up top here that's where I keep my capsule wardrobe storage boxes and I try to keep it kind of divided so we have um, knitwear like heavier knitwear lighter jackets and uh, blazers in the first box there then we have different jeans and pants in the middle box and then the final box there is where I keep lighter clothes and summer clothes and then I do actually have a separate box on the other side there on one of the top shelves in uh, in Morton's wardrobe um, and that's actually just where I keep my maternity wear and extra sizes I'm not sure I'm done having kids so I decided to um, keep all of that so I have that in a separate box and I think, you know, that's something I often mention if you have a weight that is fluctuating or if you are expecting to change sizes at some point. I always advise to kind of like take, take the exercises out of your wardrobe so that you only have what you can actually wear right now and then save that for later. So then moving further down into the wardrobe, we have a couple of bags. So I have my black shopper bag here that I've had for, I don't know, 12 years now. We have my beige secondhand bag here, which I love dearly. And then over on this shelf, I have two other handbags. So I have my Shop the Curated handbag up here, which is kind of like a, a fancier bag. It comes with a longer strap as well. And then my good old Marc Jacobs bag here that I got over 10 years ago um, from my husband. I love that bag a lot still. Now just another word on bags. Um, I also have some extra bags in the entrance hall and that's why I kind of wanted to make this a combined wardrobe tour and entrance hall tour because I do have like some extra bits in the entrance hall. So have a few extra bags, have some few extra shoes, outerwear, stuff like that. But we'll get back to that when I'm done talking through the entire wardrobe in here. So let's continue down further into the wardrobe. On this shelf here, uh, I keep uh, knitwear. So I try not to hang my knitwear. I try to keep it folded and put it on this um, shelf right here. I do have um, a couple of knits that I like to hang, like my um, 
cardigan here for example I have a tendency to forget that I have that one if it's just shoved in the back so right now I'm just kind of trying to leave it out here so that I remind myself to actually wear it this is a, a really old piece um, I think I've had it for seven years or something and it's just a really really lovely cardigan especially now that it's autumn so I'm gonna try to push myself into wearing that a little bit more and I think having it here rather than stuffed in the back is gonna help me do that then if we continue over here this is where I have lighter jackets tops stuff like that so I have some tailoring I have shirts I have blazers actually I do have a few like lighter merino wool jumpers hung here as well it's just because when I fold these they get really really creased I have denim shirt more blazers denim jacket biker jacket more blazers some different colored t-shirts I have a white shirt here I have my leopard shirt I do actually have a few items from my wardrobe missing at the moment that I dropped off at the tailor so I'm actually gonna go pick those up today my beige uh, blazer is being altered at the moment I had a couple of pants that I needed to have altered as well so that's currently missing from my wardrobe I have this really lovely sweater vest which you might have seen in my autumn capsule video which went live last Sunday I'm actually about to pack this away because I probably won't be wearing it now that it gets colder. I tend to wear this with bare arms underneath and it is starting to get a little bit too chilly for that now. But it's a really nice and cool transitional piece. Same over here in this compartment. This is where I have uh, currently have some coats. I have bottoms. I do have a midi skirt here. And I have a pair of shorts that I kept out uh, because we've had a really, really hot September. So I wanted to keep out just a few things that were still kind of summer appropriate when I did my um, my big old autumn capsule switch over recently. So kept a few summer bits out, but it is starting to get really cold or not really cold, but chilly now. So I probably will take that out and store it away very, very soon. Have a, a really nice flannel overshirt here this is a second hand piece that I purchased recently love that um, and just you know especially for weekends when I'm just wearing mom stuff <laughs> mom wear it just makes me feel amazing so I love this good old trench coat here from Everlane which I've had for years um, two second hand coats I've had the beige one here for years as well the green one is new again second hand really lovely sage green color perfect for autumn and winter Likely we'll keep both of those out for the winter season as well. Hi. Hi. Morten just got home. He's just been um, out doing some grocery shopping. Um, anyway, so then we have bottoms. I have a pair of tailored trousers from Arkit. I've had these for a long time too. Leather pants. I have some different kinds of jeans. Gray, dark blue or like mid blue, lighter blue. I have a pair of white jeans as well. So you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, that I'm really, really big on my jeans. I, I love jeans, core part of my everyday outfit. So I like having a few different options there, both some different shapes, different lengths, and different colors. So that's kind of like the top part of the wardrobe. Then if we move further down, let's stay over on this side. Um, oh yeah, actually I forgot. Here I have like just some little hooks that I've applied to the side of the uh, wardrobe here. So that's where I keep most of my, my necklaces. So shorter necklaces here, longer ones, and then just some mixed ones down here. Then I have a pair of tall boots right here at the moment. Um, again, these are a pair of secondhand boots that I bought a couple of years ago that I pulled out from storage now that we are approaching autumn let's move back up i hope you don't get too dizzy from all of this up and down action and um, this is where i keep my jewelry trays so i have uh, these are from ikea by the way i always get questions about these they're just from ikea you can tuck them into a drawer as well if you have a drawer that they will fit into um, just to protect them a little bit more from dust and stuff um, you can actually see even though i did just clean my wardrobe and did the wardrobe switch over it's already looking a little bit dusty there, so I need to really be, you know, over that all the time. Um, but yeah, this is where I keep my jewelry. I have a few gold pieces out still. Um, the rest of it, I've kind of stored that away because if you followed me for a while, you will probably know that I recently did, or not recently, over the last couple of years, I've kind of switched from gold more into silver jewelry. So I have a 
a larger collection of silver jewelry these days and then only a few gold pieces because I do like to still wear some of these and I sometimes like to mix it sometimes during summer I do like the look of like gold jewelry when you've got a bit of a tan so so a lot of different jewelry uh, I have some few pieces from my um, previous collaboration with still nest here as well um, I had a design collab with a German jewelry brand a couple of years ago which sadly we had to terminate last year um, but still have a few of those pieces here the meadow earrings here for example um, and then I have some um, other still nest pieces I have some Monica Vinata pieces here as well and um, then this tray over here I have these are straps to backs or for backs so this is for my shop the curated back so this is a long strap that you can attach to it so that you can wear it cross body this is a shorter strap for my brown uh, Michael Kors back which is currently in the entrance hall then I have a few silk scarves in the back there um, and then I have these little uh, hair ties these are in like a really soft fabric quality um, so I use these actually to when I wear blazers to rouge up the sleeves I will put a rubber band on to kind of keep it in place the good old hair trick there and I do find that when you go for this kind of tube elastic oop, hair tie it doesn't leave uh, any harsh marks on your clothing so that's why I kind of switched over to these usually I actually will have my um, color type booklet in this little compartment here so this is the color type booklet like I said usually it's just there in this compartment um, so if you don't know this I am a certified color consultant so I do color consultations uh, worldwide actually um, I have a lot of in-person consultations which I would always recommend over virtual ones but I do also have a lot of virtual clients and I really love it um, to me it's been life-changing to enter this this uh, this whole world with color analysis um, especially because I have never really worn anything other than black white and gray in the past and now I've just like I feel like I have a really nice array of neutrals like even neutrals are not just neutrals I know what kind of neutrals work best for me um, and I know what kind of accent colors I can kind of update my wardrobe with which will look nice together but also just look nice on me so that's my color type booklet I keep that here and as you can see very representative um, a very soft neutral color scheme but then I have a few like soft accent colors here and there as well so where should we go next let's do the drawers over here this drawer here is where I keep um, basic tops so tank tops and um, other kind of tops that I would wear underneath knitwear t-shirts stuff like that especially great layering pieces for winter especially if I'm wearing something like this one here this is quite an itchy type of knit so I do need to wear either a long sleeved top underneath that or some sort of a tank top um, so that it's not scratching my skin too much I have some leggings here mostly for weekends and mom days in the back here I have a few tops um, and like some stables for special occasions so um, you guys probably know that I don't wear dresses and skirts a lot I don't have very much I don't have a lot of feminine or romantic stuff in my wardrobe but when I do go for a special occasion like a wedding or a big birthday party or something like that I will pull out a few staples this top here is like a a soft white cami from Cezanne this is a really great basic um, that I can use to update any outfit and make it feel a little bit more fancy so basic tops leggings a few um, occasion wear staples in the back and the next drawer is where I keep all of my gym clothes so I have uh, leggings shorts tops jackets right here and then I have this little compartment in the back here this is just from Ikea by the way it's one of those like little cubes that you can buy and this is where I keep my sports bras then um, let's stay here actually this is where I keep my loungewear so I have a gray loungewear set and then my pink loungewear set the top one here is actually secondhand and these two are old pieces from uh, from Everlane then in the back behind those I have another one of those Ikea compartments those kind of cubes this is where I keep my um, nightwear so I have some PJs I have some downgraded t-shirts and some shorts for when it's uh, summer so some different kind of nightwear 
kept in that one. Moving further down, I have a little wire basket here, which is where I keep my belts. So I have some different kinds here, just some, some different colors. Mainly black, brown, and beige because I like having um, colors in belts that match my shoes and back so that I can create some color coherence. Not that it has to match every time, but I think it's nice to have that option. So the compartment here behind that, again, another one of those IKEA cubes um, with another little cube inside of it is where I keep wardrobe care tools. So I have my jewelry travel pouch here, some other like jewelry storage boxes. I have my uh, steamer. So in this jewelry storage box is where I keep a lot of the, the gold uh, jewelry that I'm not wearing at the moment. If I'm not going to wear that again, I'm going to save it for my girl. Maybe she wants to wear it one day when she gets old enough. Um, I have my travel steamer here from Steamery. And then down here, other wardrobe care tools. So I have my uh, trusty, beloved um, fabric shaver from Steamery. I have a little um, care kit. Actually, let me show you this. This is kind of cool. This was sent to me by Steamery a long time ago, actually. It's a little travel pouch that you can bring with you, which has like um, sewing needles, some different thread, um, like a measuring tape, just some a little emergency kit for when you're traveling or when you're on the go. Like if you lose a button or if something gets torn apart, then you have a little emergency kit. And then on the floor here behind that, I have my boots and then one pair of sandals, which like I said with the other summer pieces, I am going to be packing those away very soon because it is starting to get too cold now. Um, but again, just because we've had such a mild and warm September, I wanted to keep them out. So good old Acne Jensen boots that I've had for years. Um, I have my secondhand Isabel Marang boots there, which I've also had for a long time. And then my eight boots at the back, which are a slightly more dressy version of my Acne Jensen boots um, and a bit higher, but they're just really, really beautiful. And then moving over here. Let's stay down here now that we're talking shoes. This is the shelf that I mentioned that I can kind of pull out. So I have um, occasion wear shoes in the back there. I have some brown like mules from Alohas, gifted, just a disclaimer. Good old secondhand Valentino pumps here. I wear these all the time. Like They're my favorite, favorite shoes ever. These are a pair of secondhand shoes that I found in like a local thrift store. I just Think they're really nice just a classic black pump with a manageable heel and then they are kind of cool because they have like this mock crock or is it more like a python snake skin effect um so those just three pairs of different occasion wear shoes i have my everlane day glove flats this is the color mocha by the way really lovely kind of like um taupey color but they have like a purple sheen to them which i think is quite unusual but they're really really nice i'm not sure if this color is available anymore but i love them secondhand uh, loafers here from sam edelman secondhand converse sneakers here as well these are leather which makes them really practical for the autumn winter season and then the final two drawers that we have left is my underwear drawer and then my practical weekend wear kind of drawer. So let's start with underwear. Um, not the most neatly organized underwear drawer you will ever see in your life, probably. Um, but again, we have a few of those IKEA compartments in here. So I have anklet socks, regular socks, warmer socks, and then uh, pantyhose up here, tights. Um, I have pants over here. I have some shorts over here, like some legging shorts that I will typically wear underneath skirts and dresses during summer to avoid chafing. I have a few um, like one pieces here from Organic Basics. Then I have some different bras. I have some thermal undies here as well. And this is actually where I keep my swimwear. Um, I have a few like sun tops, like strapless tops here. And then I have swimwear in this one. So that's that. A little messy, but still organized mess, if you will. Moving down, we have this one. This is the final thing in the wardrobe here that I'm going to show you. Um, this is my mommy weekend wear kind of drawer, if you will. So I have some different jeans here that I've downgraded through the years, 
where you know they look nice still kind of nice but the knees are starting to get a little worn out and a little bit saggy so i wear those around the house and for playtime activities going to the playground crawling around on the floor and i won't have to worry about my knees getting ruined all my jeans so that's that i also have my good old vintage dungarees here then i have a sweater or sweatshirt here like a hoodie I have a cardigan and some other sweatshirts that I will wear mostly around the house here. So yeah, practical mom wear kind of mini capsule um, so that I have something kind of nice to wear but that I will still not have to worry about getting worn out or spilled on, all that good stuff. So that is the wardrobe in here. So I'm just gonna close up the door and then we're gonna proceed to the entrance hall. So this is our entrance hall. Um, we have our kitchen there and we have a guest toilet in there. Um, and then this is where you enter the house. So, sorry, I'm just gonna close the door to the bathroom here because that's not a, an aesthetic backdrop. <laughs> um, so this is the, the entrance hall. It's a little bit dark right now. I've kept the light, I've kept the light turned off. Uh, just so that it's not so yellowish. Um, so if you followed me for a long time, this will probably look a little bit different to what it used to. Um, we've painted out here, and we've kind of redecorated a little bit to utilize the space better. So over here we have shoes. Um, this side is mine. We also have like some doggy bits up here um, because obviously we have a dog, so um, yeah doggy bits and then I have some shoes down here mainly sneakers so my old Vea trainers and then the ones that I use more now I also have my new balance sneakers and then this side is my husband's then over here we have a little shelf where as I this is actually uh, one that my husband built to fit into this little compartment here so we have our sunglasses here and then um, here is uh, yeah, that's Oscar's leash just hanging right there. So we just have some little hooks underneath so That's really nice. And then if we go over here, we have a little bench So we have some shoes. This is my girl's shoes and then we have a, a homemade um, Clothing, what do you say like a coat coat rack up here? Um, so these are just the, the coats that we wear right now or like regularly. They will usually be here This is the handbag that I'm using at the moment. I like to switch between them um, But currently I have my wallet and everything in this one. So that's the one that I'm using Probably for the next couple of days until I perhaps make a switch um, Then I have my fleece here from Patagonia. I have a cap Usually wear this for like dog walks or trips to the to the playground my husband's jackets over here. This is a coat brush from uh, again from Steamery, which uh, comes in handy now that it's getting colder and I start wearing my coats. A great way to dust off um, dirt and hair and stuff. So I keep that there. Over there we have a little mini rack, basically a copy of the big one, which is for the little one. So that's where she keeps all of her outerwear. Um, and then if we go in here, this is where we have our wardrobe. Now I might need to turn on the light because it is rather dark in here. So I don't know if you guys remember like when I did my whole, or when we did our whole like home renovation series. Um, I can't really recall if I ever showed you this room. Um, I have definitely showed it some way in a couple of videos. But anyway, this was actually built originally with the idea of using it as a wardrobe. Um, so when we moved in, the people who lived here before used this more as like a pantry. Uh, pantry, yeah. <laughs> they used it more as like a pantry and, and like a storage place for like cleaning s stuff. Um, but we just thought it made more sense to turn it back into a wardrobe. So they had some different shelving units that we've just kind of, we tore those out and then we painted it blue in here, which I know is kind of counterintuitive when it's such a small room because a dark color can essentially make it feel even smaller. But I think it, it's also cozy. Like I don't think you should be so afraid of using dark colors. I think it makes it really, really cozy in here. Um, and then all of the shelving units that you see here, the drawers and the whole, like the rack up here. This is actually all from Ikea and this is from 
the series called Bo Axel, if I remember correctly. So again, that's what I love about IKEA. They're really, really genius for like customizing spaces, especially if you have limited space. So say what you want about IKEA, but I think, you know, in that sense, they're really, really genius. They have some great ideas. And this whole setup has just been so nice. We've had it for a couple of years. So um, yeah, obviously we keep like backpacks and stuff. We have, this is, this side is modern. So all of his like different jackets and coats. And then this side is mine. And then as you can see, I have like some shoe storage here. This actually used to be inside of my wardrobe in the bedroom, but I've decided to move it out here. So I have out of season shoes, out of season shoes up there. I have a couple of boxes down here as well. And then on this shelf here is also where I keep some of them. My Burks, I've packed them away now because it's too cold. My gym trainers, I have some practical like boots over here. And then this is all my husband's. We have some shelves here where we keep like different rain gear and like hats, gloves, stuff like that. This entire drawer is mine. So I have my scarves, I have some hats, gloves, like winter bits down here. Over here, this is like my daughter. So we have different hats and again, winter gear mainly. Uh, this is for like when we go to a concert, uh, just to protect her little ears. Then we have a few backpacks. This is my husband's. I have my uh, workout backpack there. And then this is just a little mini staircase because I'm not very tall, so I need that in my life. Um, and then up here we have, uh, oh, the lighting's not gonna be too nice here. This um, box right here is where we keep different like shoe care stuff. And then over here we have a, an old like a coat rack that we are just kind of using for, um, this is some of my girls, um, like outdoor wear. But other than that, we use it for a different kind of bags. Um, we have a few umbrellas there as well. And then here we keep reusable shopping bags for when we go grocery shopping. So yeah, this is our wardrobe. So obviously this is where I have a lot of like my practical outerwear that I don't necessarily talk a lot about when I do like capsule wardrobe videos because to me those are more like essentials. So obviously people often ask me like, don't you have a raincoat? And yeah, of course I do. I live in Denmark. Of course I have a raincoat. <laughs> it's a necessity. I have a raincoat. I have wellies. I have all of that. Um, this is just a really, really old raincoat from Tretuan. I think I've had this for six or seven years. Um, I also have my winter puffer here. I have uh, my navy blue wool coat. I have a thin puffer that I wear underneath um, other jackets, especially during winter when it gets really cold. I have my beige biker here, which I'm currently taking a break from. And then some other bits and bobs here. So yeah, this is where I keep a lot of my practical stuff, but also just out of season items. So that's it for this video, an updated wardrobe tour and also just a little bit of an entrance haul tour since we have been changing them some things here as well over the years um, and hopefully everything makes a little bit more sense now like how i keep my stuff and where like i get myself ready um, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, thank you so much for watching as always i really appreciate having you guys here take care and i hope to see you very soon with another video bye guys